Hey guys, welcome back to ED Figure. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And today we're going to take a look at the SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan Full Power Son Goku. And this is from Dragon Ball Z, of course. And I think this version is supposed to be a version where he fought Cell. Um, basically just uh, Goku mastering Super Saiyan 1. And yeah, I mean... I don't know, I think we are officially on the 3.0 SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball line, and they're changing the art style a little bit. Like, I don't know if I like this, but let me know in the comments on what you think, but um, I don't know, I'm still getting used to this. Kind of reminds me of some of the older figures Bandai did back in the 90s, but yeah. Anyways, I'm here to love the box, here's the right of the box, and here's the back of the box. And I think for now, I still prefer um, the older version where he looks a little bit more slim in terms of the face, but I don't know. Um, we just have to deal with it and the new Krillin they just announced looks really really good So I don't know um, the 3.0 line is coming and yeah guys let's get ready uh, work harder make more money I guess And here's the figure still in the inner packaging I'm um, looking pretty basic and this time we get two instant transmission hands I bet Chi Chi really likes that but anyways um, let's check it out Alright and here we have the figure itself and honestly uh, my first impression on this figure is this so so like it is a Goku figure alright but I don't know um it's a whole different art style and it's kind of like a mix between the first ever SH figure art Super Saiyan Goku with the awakening version um, where it looks a little bit more serious and the head is a little bit bigger. Um, it is, yeah, like like I said earlier like the face is significantly bigger so yeah. Um, this is just, uh, they're going with a whole different route here, so I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments on what you think, but the faceplate won't be interchangeable with the older SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball figures, so yeah, uh, we'll, we'll have to get ready uh, for a whole new line of Goku, I guess. But anyways, um, let's just take a close look at the figure. Um, it's got some shading here and there, so not too bad. And yeah, I don't know. Um, you tell me, but yeah, this is definitely very different um yeah he just looks a little bit too chubby for me i don't i don't know um i'm just not very happy with this iteration and i think this is supposed to be my favorite version of goku where he fought cell um where you know the the famous comic cover where he's looking up to Cell like this but uh, this is not the phase that I imagine, and yeah, let's just check out the articulation, but it's pretty much the same. Like the body portion of it is the same, it's just the head. The head is like very different, nothing we've seen um, yet. Yeah, just look at the shape of this faceplate. Hmm. It's very, very different. And while we're at it, let's just go over the articulation, I don't have to do the cut. Um, it's basically the same, um, you have your... Uh, butterfly shoulder, we have bicep swivel, curl about this much, ball wrist, and there's a hinge over here, and yeah, um, the 2.0 leg, bend, thigh swivels, pivot, and toe hinge, I believe that's it for the articulation, yeah, it's pretty standard, and it feels pretty smooth, but again, um, the head, it's a big turn off for me, or maybe I'll just get used to it, I don't know. Um, they're supposedly making a Super Saiyan 2 version as well, and Vegeta is getting like a whole new revamp, revamp on the head as well, so I don't know. But the first version of Vegeta never looked good anyway, so hmm, that might be a good thing. But for this Goku, this head is the big no-no. And we do have like the food set coming, right? The food set is still using the older SH figure, so supposedly, yeah, I guess if we, if we have everything, it's fine, but yeah, um, I just hope we have a better head sculpt of this or maybe yeah the whole 3.0 um dragon ball z fighters are gonna look like this i suppose <laughs> and again for the accessories we're gonna start with the head um i know i'm just like cutting the videos here and there but again this just doesn't look that great to me and same goes with the new super saiyan not super saiyan why am i talking about super saiyan same go with the android 17 and 18 that just got announced right um the head sculpt it's a little bit Looks too 3D to me. I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments on what you think for sure. But maybe this will grow on me. I don't know. But for now, eh, I'm not a big fan. And next up, we have a teeth greeting face. Which I think it looks... I don't want to say this word, but it looks kind of atrocious to me. Hmm. And then we have the now yelling face. And yeah, I guess this one looks okay. 
And lastly, we have this um, chill and happy face of Goku. And ironically, I think this one's probably my favorite out of all of them. Um, I'll probably have this one display and just Goku looking happy and just waving at people. But yeah, uh, let me know in the comments on what you think. And for an interchangeable hands, there's really nothing new. Um, it's really standard for Goku, so I think I'm just gonna jump straight into the action posing. And for the size comparison, let us start with some SH Figures Dragon Ball figures, and of course they look very good together. But you guys already know how I feel about um, the new head sculpt or quote unquote art style, I'm just not a very big fan of it. Well, um, the bright yellow on the hair looks really nice though, um, I just noticed that. But yeah, um, let me know in the comments on what you think, uh, maybe you guys know what kind of reference material they're using, but this does kind of remind me of some of the older line of figures Bandai did back in the days. I think when I was in middle school, the, um, there's a line called Hybrid Action, um, I actually just Google it, so all you have to do is just Google Hybrid Action Dragon Ball, you guys will know what I'm talking about. Um, kind of have that like, you know, very serious emo look, but like not really, but yeah. Um, I also just check out um, the whatchamacallit, the Super Saiyan 2 Goku prototype they showed off, and yeah, kind of has that same face. I don't know. Um, will I stop buying it? Of course not. Uh, I'll keep buying it, but I just don't prefer this. I prefer the, the older stuff, like these, right? Yeah. Anyways. Um, yeah, let's move on. And next up, we have some more Dragon Ball figures, and again, this face just, in my opinion, doesn't look like they belong to the same line, but they really are. And next up, we have some Jujutsu Kaisen and Naruto SH figure arts, and I think they look pretty good. Um, if you're still looking for Akatsuki rope, I have them in stock in my store right now. Don't miss out again. And then we have some Goku Blacks and Hit and another Goku. Mm. And then we have some Mayfax Spider-Man figures and the Sentinel Halo, well, well not Halo, Master Chief. And lastly, we have some Figmas, and let's jump straight into the final thoughts. Alright, so for the final thoughts, again, not a big fan of the new art style, but everything else is fine. Um, plays really well, the articulation is good, I like the color, especially the hair. Um, the bright yellow is really nice, and the hair sculpt is really good. Um, and yeah, the happy face is actually not bad. Um, it's really, really anime accurate in my opinion. But yeah, um, let me know in the comments on what you think, and I think that's it from me. Um, yeah, I'm just really excited for the new Krillin that's coming out, and 1718 looks really good as well. Um, yeah, hopefully they make a 3.0 version of Trunks. Um, I really want just the tank top Trunks, they can do so many variants with that. Long hair, short hair, um, with sword or whatever, like, there's just so much they can do. But anyways, um, this is Eric, don't forget to like and subscribe, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!